Alright folks, DJ Numa here, and I believe I've built the car. Um, again, as I said, we're probably going with Renault, so we went with Renault. Uh, I'm avoiding Honda just because I want to get the maximum improvability that we can get, really, uh, while still having semi-good car. Um, I'm trying to keep pretty good tire heating. I mean, I could go full improvability here. Uh, fuel efficiency wise, we're not exactly the best on the grid. Let's be honest. Uh, we're not going to be the best on the grid, but we can't really be the best on the grid because we've had to cut corners in certain areas. Uh, tire heating, we're, we're going to try and go for like two and a half stars here and almost four stars with that. Tire heating, we've got three stars and improvability, we've got five stars, as you can see. Uh, with our rear package and our front package, we are looking all right, I'd say. Uh, we've got, you know, the shark fin, uh, very classic shark fin, and we will really hold on to quite a bit of our income here. We're spending 45 million on the car, and let us continue and see. Let's go back to the negotiation table. She was really insulted by that. Um, I can't really afford to you know, bring her in. She had a three million signing on fee. I mean, damn. It, okay. Okay. Damn. Like, what the hell? That... So, I mean... Alright. So she was insulted by that. Okay, let's bring her up on that. Let's give her a 4.2 million signing on fee. And up to 1.5 million per race. Um, she prefer a short contract. Let's give her a two year contract. And continue. Hopefully she's fine with that. Although, we did send out a couple of other offers and she actually accepted hey, hey she's not the best overtaker in the world but um she's willing to pay her own buyout clause and uh yeah i think that we're going to be going with her uh scouting wise um where did the the thing go. Alright. Unread mail. Contract looks great. One, two. Press HQ visit. Okay. Okay, of course. Come on in. Come on in. Alright, Zo Sharp. Did you accept? You did not. We insulted you. I'm so sorry. But we'll sign you. And replace Johnny De Silva. Oh, man. Now, let's see here. Yeah, we'll, we'll replace Johnny. Um, continue to finances. Confirm. Uh, we will we have our number one driver in Fernanda Fernanda oh Jesus my back is so screwed up top Mexican driver Fernando revealed to decline future Dragon Race Team China and negotiated a move to us I mean it's true uh, and we've paid we have a $8.7 million a year deal with her. Whew. 
finished scouting on driver. Pause. Brand new telemetry center. Freaking A, Steinman. Low quality driver in the world. Alright, Christine. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Scouting wise, let's continue scouting some peeps. Um, by age group, Al is probably going to retire soon. Schmidt's not even worth asking at this point. Uh, we will, however, talk to uh, look into that driver. Uh, you, you, and you. All right, we're looking at improvability gains. Uh, car-wise, leave it. I mean, I don't think that we... I don't think we need to worry about improvability. Honestly. Our wind tunnel's built. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let us continue. I'm gonna finish scouting on the driver. Scouting wise, who did we scout? Who did we scout? We scouted. One of the weakest drivers, potentially good though. One of the better drivers in the championship. Edward. <sighs> Freaking Ed Guzman. Uh, one of the weakest drivers. Huh. Huh. Interesting. I'm gonna look into this guy. Um. <laughs> He's working with Kruger right now. But I'll, I'll keep an eye on him. Eventually. Anyways, we are looking at a livery from the season. Johan Parrish. Addictive personality. Interesting. I may have a problem. Anyway, low quality driver. Two of our taking base struggles is breaking. Head to the scouting department. And that is Johan Parrish. We'll keep an eye on him. We'll keep an eye on him. Uh, we got three days before we continue. That's a bug. Me thinks. At least I hope. Yeah, there we go. Much better. Anyway, I'll be back as soon as I've figured out what we're going to design here. See you soon. Alright folks, welcome back. I think that I've got the car, and I also think that I've got all of these videos in the wrong spot, so I'm going to go fix that real quick. But I think that we've got it. We've got... I wanted to go for something striking this season. And I think that we've got something striking. Just to make our way into F1, I thought that it was needed. So there's our car livery, ZRT Autosport for 2023. That's our competitor, folks. Chassis finish date, finish date is going to be roundabout. It's either going to be May 3rd or the third of the, the fifth of uh, what's it called? The fifth of what's it called? That's right. Everybody loves the fifth of what's it called. Anyway, scouting just finished on another driver. Hello, one of the weakest drivers. His potential's good, though. He's one of the better drivers in the championship. Well, who who was it? It was this guy. No, no, he cannot become one of the better drivers in the championship. He would be one of the worst drivers in the championship. Anyway, let's continue, and hopefully something else comes up with our car. Preseason testing coming up this weekend. Hopefully, we come up with something cool. <sighs> Alright. 
Let's go to preseason testing. And start it. I cannot believe we're here. Oh, up at 7th, 6th? What? Wow. Oh, we're overheating. Well, that fixed itself. Interesting. 6th and 10th. We've got a challenger for the season, folks. We have a challenger for the season. Lara did some more racing. But it's good to see that, you know, at least we're ninth overall in terms of our car. Targets for the season. We're going to try for eighth. I mean, I personally think it's possible. I don't know if you guys do. Uh, Reliability-wise, we are going to work first on... Uh, we, we'll, we'll auto-fill it. Looks like we're going to work first on the engine and the gearbox and the brakes. Those will all finish 36 days after the race. But in the meantime, we're actually going to start designing a brand new gearbox right off the bat on the season we need to start making it better so let's do it let's start off on a gearbox and I will see you guys soon because I need to move all of these files over all right so we're gonna work on our reliability here while we build stuff we're being asked to build a wind tunnel. Yeah, there's a chance of seeing it upgraded. But first, we'll travel to Doha for the opening round of this year's Formula One Championship. Doesn't really matter who's over here, who's over there. They're both the same. But we're going to drive for seventh or above not likely to happen. We'll just take a lot of softs, I think. Right? Yeah. Let's just take a lot of softs. Um, <laughs> we'll set the better car to have better part. Oh. Oh. I'm not giving her a better car than you. Literally, you've got the best parts. Really, Fernanda? I'm paying you 500000 per race so you can bitch and moan. Good. Good to know. God. Drivers, am I right? Oh, well. We're at Doha. <clears throat> you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys after practice. Oh, this is going to be bad. Welcome back to mediocrity. Hmm? Yeah, why not? Anyway, it's going to be sunny because Doha. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys after practice. Toodaloo. You know, it... it just come to my attention that we are very slow here. I hope we can get 8th in the championship. I doubt we can. But anyway, did pretty good on the uh, on the qualifying attempt here, or on the qualifying run at least. We got 9th by really pushing. Oh, lordy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Anywho. Top 10 in qualifying. Or, not that. Got, just, just got, oh my god, just got tickets for tours the RT Auto Sport HQ. Best birthday ever! Yeah. <clears throat> so, our goal for the race is 7th or above. I, or for qualifying is 7th or above. I doubt we're going to get that. But we'll try. We'll try. Um, 
At any rate, we're going to drop the speed down a little bit by a click. Maybe two. Two clicks. And we'll try that. But yeah, we will simulate qualifying because we know how bad I am at it. Okay, we've got one driver out. Alright. Alrighty. 17th and 18th. We're not last. We're not last. We are bad. Oh god. We're almost last. But we are. We're here. And now, oh jeez. Oh jeez. We put on a good show in qualifying. <clears throat> Yep, we were looking good as usual. We're quite at it today. We're also hoping Enrique could do better. Hey, man. We're not that bad. We're just pretty bad. We're not that bad. <clears throat> Anywho, we're going to take soft tires and race trim. For her. And over here, uh, we are going to take pit stop legend and race trim. No, we'll, we'll just take soft tires and race trim. Anyway, car setup wise, that looks great. <clears throat> um, what? This confuses me. That was apparently ninety-eight percent, and. That's apparently... What? Oh well. We'll do that. Take some softs in. Driver strategy wise, we are going to go attacking. In overtake mode. Attack and overtake. And we will go to the race. From 17th and 18th on the grid. As we take the first five red lights of our F1 journey and away we go great start for Revuelta Revuelta pretty damn good start I'd say up into 14th hey hey we're gonna go down to high and medium already or high and push already actually we'll take medium <clears throat> Because I just realized there's no refueling. There is no refueling. Oh, geez. So if we can serve early in the race, we should be good. It just sounded like something fell in the room. Hmm. Go ahead and requa. Yellow flag, no overtaking in sector two. Somebody crashed already. We're down to 15th. I didn't take any look at the rules for the season, so I don't know where we get points. We might only get points for the top five. We might get points for the top ten. I don't know. We'll find out. But we do not have the straight line speed to be doing this. We are swinging above our weight right now. Here in F1. Conserving the fuel. And our engine. Oh, jeez. Oh, we have another crash. Revuelta. No! Damn it. Alright, go, Lara. You're our only hope. Alrighty. Tire tends to feel really high. Not feeling the same as before. Okay, alright. We will lower that little bit then and watch as we keep going it's about all I can say is vroom vroom let's go Enrique 
Get into 13th, girl. There you go. There you go. Come on. I see you fighting there. Get in there. Yeah. There's no refueling. Oh, lordy, there's no refueling. We haven't had to deal with that yet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, well, it's like normal F1. Except we still have two tire compound choices instead of three. We've got the primes and the options. <clears throat> and it looks like we've got maybe two laps left on these tires. We're going to conserve with Lara a little bit here. Come on. Conserve those tires. You need to get another lap out of them. I hope. I hope she can get another lap out of them. Because that would be great. Swinging above our weight in F1 right now. Up into ninth. They're going for the undercut. We're going to come in for a set of tires. Uh, we're going to fix the front wing. Uh, fix the front wing. And we will go for it. All right, Enrique. Down to 12th. Down to 13th. Oh, jeez. We ever took Lundquist. So that's a plus. Though for how long is the question. For how long is definitely the question. We're going into pit. We're pitting. Alright. What happened on the pit stop? Somebody messed up on the tires. Oh, jeez. Why? How did you guys mess up on the tires? Come on. Ah. Uh, Rick DeGraff jumps into second. Man. Up into 15th. What is it with our number one car driver and wrecking? I like to question that real quick, guys. Like, what what is it with our number one driver and wrecking out of each race that we'd start with them? Like, really? <sighs> we're actually not that good on fuel consumption either. That that's kind of amazing that we're doing so well conserving gas, considering I think we've only got like two and a half stars in fuel economy. Not the best, but our car is very much improvable. Alright, we will conserve these tires for a little bit. We're going to go for a 10 lap stint here. We came in on lap 9, so if we can go to lap 19 with these tires, we're good. Is there a problem with the rear wing? There is, but we'll fix that and the suspension on the next... Come when you come in next. <clears throat> We're point oh four laps to the good. Point oh five. All those people who are still pushing can probably go. Probably have really good fuel economy. We couldn't exactly afford it, but whatever. It happens. We're at. Plus point one laps, plus point one one, one two, and three two one. Yep. Serving those tires a bit there. Lap fourteen. Coming around to lap fifteen. No, we're coming around to lap fourteen. Okay. I almost caused us to do a bad. 
Okay. We are the only one conserving our tires. Good to see. Looks like I need to come and fix some of my parts. Oh, God. Oh, Lordy. That's not a good. That is definitely not a good. Come on now. Attack. If you could do two more laps on these tires, you're good. Everyone else will start having mechanical issues. I believe she can last two laps on these tires. Actually, if she comes in now, we can go for a real big, like, just attacking stint. Alright, attack your way in. If we can get to the top ten, I'll be proud. Okay, we're coming in. We're, we're in. We're doing the stop. a good stop we're out and we're going to attack for the next like five laps that gearbox isn't looking too good it's okay you can hold on to it mm. Rick DeGraff in the lead now up into 11th very good, very good. That's everybody fixing their stuff. Sprake. Having some mechanical issues. No, you're fine. Keep pushing. You're fine. Here's hoping that we can uh, get to the end on fuel. Not on fuel, but on, on these parts because, oh god, everything's breaking. Now, once we get it to the point where the gearboxes don't need fixed every single race, I think we'll be good. I think that's our goal, is to get it so that the gearboxes don't need to be completely fixed. Oh, the leader just retired. On brand new tires. That's a thing that happened. That's two retirements. Who are they driving for? Is that Steinman Motors Autosport? Dang, I think it is. Then you get in Requa. Up into eighth now with those retirements. Looking good, looking good. Everything's breaking. Not looking good, not looking good at all. Not, not a good... Yeah, that's that's not a good, folks. Uh, go back down to medium on the fuel. Uh, we'll actually pit. Park condition. Uh, fix that. Fix that. Screw it. Go for a fast stop. Why not? Hopefully that gearbox lasts for the race. <clears throat> Okay. We're in. Good, good. Oh, great front wing change. We're up into sixth. What? Okay. Hope now all we need is that gearbox to, you know, survive. Please. Please survive, gearbox. That's all I need in life is for you to live. I just need you to live. Live! Oh god, it's gonna blow up. Oh lordy. Uh, 
Oh, jeez. Rick DeGraff. Hey, I know him. Is he with Steinman now? I think he is. Oh, please, no mechanical retirement. Okay, Lara. Three more, four more laps. You can last. I believe in you. Gearboxes are our main issue. Mm -hmm. Irritation. Major irritation. Come on. We had two more retirements. That means we're in the top five, folks. There's fifth. 76 seconds back now. Oh, God, that gearbox is going to break any time now. Any minute now. Conserve the tires. Just bring it home in one piece, please. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, one more lap. One more lap. Come on, Gearbox, you can do it. I believe. I believe in you, little Gearbox, that could. Come on. Oh, God. It's at 7% still. <laughs> ah, fifth. Right at the line. The uh, Scuderita, Scuderia Rossini dude caught me. Right at the line. Mr. DeGraff with Steinman just won. With Cavalcanti. Hey, I know that name. I don't know if it's from this play or not, but I know that name. All right. Anyway, GMA is not going to find anything. Oh. Top six get points. Interesting. Hey, guys, look. We're fourth in the championship. Yeah. Hashtag contenders. No. No, we're not. We are not contenders at all this season. We're contending for midfield. Hey, why did we why did ZRT Autosport cross the road to get to the middle? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. All right. Fernanda uh doing all right there. Takuji Curio Doing all right there. Just made some more money from the HQ. Very good, very good. That paid for our gearbox. Hey, Sergio Valdez is in the Asia Pacific Super Cup. And look, he still hasn't gotten any better. <sighs> what a dick. Left us to go race GT cars. The nerve. The nerve of people, huh? Alright, we are going to fit this to our main car. To graph wins qualifying battle, yada yada yada. We will accept the interview. Um, must have been an issue with the car setup. Which might have strategic error. Sorry. Told her to push, and I should have known she wasn't capable of doing so. Because she's a rookie. Uh, Alright, so we actually have some sponsor offers here, which we will take. We will take that one. 
And we've got more sponsor offers. Upfront payments. We're not going to take them real right now. We might take them before there. Uh, yes, please. Y yes. Hey, hey, we don't have the worst rings on the grid. We're going to design some new parts, though. Uh, I think maybe go for another gearbox. We could also go for a suspension. Eh? Huh. Yeah. Go for that. Get that suspension in there. Uh, we will continue. Fix the car. Car repair complete. We got a new sponsor offer. Yes. 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 Jogo Games, thank you. Alright. Back to getting money. Good. Car. Improved parts. We're going to knock this gearbox off. And put this gearbox on. <clears throat> uh, luckily, the engines didn't seem to need any repairs. Asked about a test track. Suspension's done. We're going to fit said suspension to the car. <sighs> Much better. Your car is better performing. God, you've got a much better gearbox already. Well, not much better, but a better gearbox. Lordy. Oh, man. Anyway. I'm going to design another gearbox, because obviously that wasn't good enough. We'll do that. This will finish 15 days after the race. Or should we build a better engine? I mean, iteration-wise, it is more reliable. Sorry, no, it's not more reliable. Iteration-wise, it's just better to start off. Uh, we will work on that at the end of the season. Uh, brakes wise we could work on them we could work on front wing hmm uh, 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 uh. 370 anyway folks thank you guys for watching I'll figure all this out what we're gonna work on and I'll see you guys next time thank you to you